I already benchmarked this game, and performance was fantastic, great, except I did it at the beginning of the game, and as was pointed out in my comment section, and I found out later on, on other GPUs, but now I'm testing it out here, as soon as you step outside, oh my god, what happens to the frame rate? Um, yeah. So anyway, you can see here that I'm hanging out in kind of the, uh, you know, lower 40s to uh, briefly into the upper 30s out here in this open world environment about to take on this, uh, this base. Now, you can certainly play the game. Um, and we can also do some more to improve the frame rate, and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So this is the GTX 1066 gigabyte. Right now we're re rendering at a native 1080p resolution. I've got to tell you right now, that's the biggest thing that we need to change. The dynamic resolution scaler in this game is very good, um, and we should take advantage of that. Also, the graphics settings are at medium. If I go up to ultra settings, well, I mean, here you go. By the way, the... Uh, Effects and the textures don't change uh, until you restart the game, but everything else changes. You can see here that we are sub 30 FPS. So t 1080p native at um, ultra is just not going to be a thing on this GPU. And at least not outdoors. And then uh, high settings look almost identical to ultra. And it does help you out. So if you're just looking for like 30 FPS and you just want to lock in there, I mean, you can do it at high settings. But you can tell here, given that we're at like 32 FPS at high settings, but if we drop down to medium, we're now up into the 40s. You can tell that going down to medium is absolutely worth it. Now you might be like, should we go down to low? Well, in my opinion, the difference between medium settings and low settings is significant in terms of image quality. Let's go ahead and take a look. So in my opinion, you lose a lot, especially in the distance. However, you can also see that we are now up into the mid 50s. So it helps out significantly on frame rate. So I think whether or not you play at medium or low is going to depend a lot on your, um, you know, your preference for that visual fidelity versus resolution scaling, okay? So that's the other thing we can do. So one option is do a manual resolution scaler, in which case it's always going to sit at this resolution. So we could go all the way down to 71%. So we're upscaling from 767p, if you want to think about it that way. And you can see that at low settings, I am now up into the mid-60s. And honestly, the res scale doesn't look too terrible. But what might make more sense, since apparently, you know, depending on your environment, like indoors or out in the open world, the demand on your GPU can change so much. To me, in this game, it makes a little bit more sense to use the dynamic resolution scaler, which is this minimum frame rate target. So what this does is you can select your frame rate target. You can t uh, type in a custom value or just select it. You can also set a maximum frame rate. Now, the reason you might want to do this is because a stable 60 that's just locked at 60 might actually feel smoother than a uh, frame rate that's bouncing between like 60 and 80. Um, and you feel those stutters and differences in your frame pacing, right? So here at low settings, I can set a locked 60 FPS. And honestly, the resolution scaling in this game is so good, and I don't really need that much um, of a resolution scale to get to 60 when I'm at low settings. We'll see what happens when I go in the base. It might be more demanding there. We'll definitely test that out. Um, but now this is why it might make sense to try out the medium settings, um, where, again, it's going to take a bit more of a resolution scale to hit 60 but a lot of the distance uh, details uh, still look pretty good. Honestly, medium looks very close to ultra, but has quite a bit of a performance advantage, whereas low just does look significantly worse. Although, although I won't say it looks bad, like playing at low is completely reasonable. Let's see what happens as we go into this base combat and see if... Um, Take them out and we'll see if medium with a 60 FPS lock makes sense. There's certainly moments here where I can tell that the, uh, like I can see some jaggies on the edge of the uh, ghost vehicle here. I'd like to just board that thing. Um, 
get my shields back while I'm benchmarking. <laughs> can I, uh, can I have the riot guy? Whoa. Guys, I don't know if this is happening in the recording, but when I got the achievement, <laughs> My, uh, my, like, monitor resolution changed or something? It was really weird and it blacked out. Uh, anyway. Um, blame the NVIDIA drivers, possibly? <laughs> I don't know. But here, look. We're running around on a vehicle out in the open world in here. Okay, we're seeing some dips into the 50s. But on a variable refresh rate monitor like I have, I didn't really feel that dip too badly. So I guess this is kind of my conclusion, is just that at a uh, setting the min and max to 60, using that dynamic res scale, and at the medium settings makes a lot of sense, although it can't always hold, uh, hold 60. Going down to low, let's see if we can actually hold to 60 um, as we get into this area where it was more difficult. Um, at medium settings. And, and the game still looks fine at low settings. It's, it's just that, like I said, from ultra to medium, it's, it's actually really hard to tell the difference. Whereas um, if you compare ultra to low, it, it's pretty noticeable. Now the nice thing about being here at low is the res scale doesn't need to be quite as aggressive. And that guy takes a lot of damage. Okay, but I've got to say that, like, this is a fairly demanding bit of the game. Attacking a base out in the open world, there's a good amount of enemies on screen here, so I'm sure you could find some part of the game that is more demanding than this. But I did want to show you guys that you can still play the game at 60 FPS on a 1060. I, and my screen's blacking out again as I get an achievement, apparently. I don't know what's going on with this. People complain about the AMD drivers, but uh, you know, I don't have that issue on AMD drivers, so I don't know if that recorded in the video, but... Anyway, <laughs> moving on from that topic. All right, guys, uh, so I think this would have to be my recommended settings, is, is setting a 60 FPS min and max to use that dynamic scale, and then either playing at low if you want to make sure you stay at 60 FPS, or at medium if you want to be mostly at 60 FPS with a few dips. What are you settings are you guys using? Let me know in the comment section, and I hope you have an excellent day. Thank you.